Hey everybody, let's uh, get back to work on the doghouse here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, mess around with some texturing now on this. So there's more more modeling to do, maybe a few rocks, maybe a dog bowl, and then the the ground. But uh, let's just let's just do this. Um, I'm going to do it real uh, sort of quick and simple, and uh, it may not look you know all that realistic but I intend actually to do some editing in the end uh, to make it look <laughs> unrealistic, more fantasy-like. Uh, you could choose to do that or not, but um, all right, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna shut off the bevels for now. I can keep the mirrors on. But well, let's see if I can find anything. I'm gonna turn the subdivision surface off on that. And all this kind of stuff. I don't know if I got everything. Back piece. This stuff too. I'll have to come up with something for that, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got that. All right, let's start with this piece. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's go over to UV editing. The period key to zoom in on this guy. And I think what I will do is over here, I think I'm going to open up um, some textures. There we go. And uh, these are just from uh, cgtextures.com. You sign up and you get a certain number of downloads for free per day. So you just find some wood that you, uh, that you like. Uh, maybe I'll try this one. These are not overly big either, so we're going to see though. So I'm going to go into edit mode on this. And you can see it's already UV unwrapped it. But let's try um, with my cursor here. Let's try U, Smart UV Project. And let's put an island margin of uh, 0 0.06. Seems pretty standard. All right, so <clears throat> the benefit of that is that I get the, the four main sides of this, but I also get the end caps. And um, where is it here? Hmm, I may have to look at that. Is it this? There, okay. So I guess by clicking there, UV selection mode, island selection mode, I can see the island for this piece so I can move it if I don't like where it is so um with that done I don't know how this piece is going to work uh, we can go over to the shading tab the material I create a new material there let's uh enough okay so you can see this is just the default let's call this wood and, go, and I'm in look dev so I'm gonna shift a texture image texture and here I'm going to choose that uh, wood texture I'm gonna color into the base there you can start to see it and uh, I'll, do, I'll do some adjustments on this. Um, what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to go uh, Control T. Um, you have to have the um, Node Wrangler enabled. Edit Preferences and just search Node, Node Wrangler there. And then you can do Control T. I'm going to use UV and it just connects them automatically. I don't even know that I'm going to use this very much. But uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go back to UV editing. And I'm going to switch this view up here to, um, where am I here? There. I'm just going to have a look at this and decide. So I can go back in it and to, uh, oh, there it is. Select it. <clears throat> I can change this piece of wood if I don't like this, or I can try laying them out. Um, I'm wondering if I want to do this like, uh, or 90 and scaling them in you know and then I get
get some wood that looks like this. You know. And then the end piece looks like that. That might be okay for what I'm what I'm gonna do. Um, and even the end piece might be just fine. You know, cartoony style. Let's let's just try another one here. See this one's already done. So if I just come over and choose that wood material, let's see what it would look like. Kind of matches up. Does that. That's, you know, part of the problem with this technique. Now, if I take this and I GY and I move it, I may like it better. Take this piece GY, just GY, just move it somewhere else. It doesn't match up perfectly. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know about that black piece there. just mirrored over I think that might look okay for what I'm going for let's try this piece okay and then I've got the hole in that so let's see what it looks like just click on this and add the add the wood material hmm, I don't mind that too much Hmm. Let's see what happens if I move that around. Just, just give that a try. That's a solid piece under there. Well, you know, they're already sort of UV unwrapped. And I'm fine with those like that, I think. This one may be a little bit of a hassle. Let's put on the subdivision surface on that and see how. I'm just wondering. I'm just going to try and see. okay it's cartoony and I'm fine with that just wonder if I want this to go that way I might so let's rotate 90 let's actually select the thing first mm. actually maybe just that Scale it in. I think I'm going to prefer that. Yeah, 
of these. <clears throat> Let's see what they're like, uh, just with that material on, see how it takes. And this is starting to, yeah, no, I'm going to leave it. That's going to be all right for what we're doing, for what I'm doing. And that, I think I'll just click new. I'll call that uh, bolt. Make it almost black. Bring the metallic up a little. That's that's what I come up with. Okay, so um, let's go back to shading, and um, what I think I'll do here is first of all I'm going to bring the roughness up and the specular down, and I'll try. Um, Try adding a sort of a fake bump. Um, just using this image here. So I'm going to bring in a vector bump. And I'll take the color out of here into the height. I'll make this 0 0.2 for now. And take the normal into the normal. You can see it's gone. A little bit nuts. So let's make this a zero point one for now. Not the greatest way of doing it. into the roughness how will that so I might I might throw in a color ramp here until I get on the right one no. No, I didn't. Hang on, let's put it on there. On that, bring this color back into the base color. Okay. Move you. And then um, play with this. get 
something like that. Well, come on. There we go. Okay, so it's got a little bit of sort of like a shiny look to it. And this stuff here. Okay, so you know that's my that's my doghouse there. So let's go back to layout here. I can see it. Okay, so the wood, you know, a little bit, you know, a little bit weird, but you can do whatever you like. And then uh, you know we would have uh, a plane down here. Let's go actually uh, to modeling. And that's where I'll put the grass and stuff. Let's bring in a camera just for the fun of it. in there so I think what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna hit the home button to maximize that now let's hit uh, that and let's <clears throat> let's go ahead and do an environment though um, here so uh, let's switch over to the world and here I'm gonna go shift a texture environment texture I'm gonna put in an HDRI image um, HDRI um, Haven is a good place uh, for getting those. Um, I don't, and I don't have too many of them. I'm just going to grab something for now, shove that in there, and um, let's go to Active Layout. Look through the camera. You know. I would probably have this area okay so what I would likely do is uh, come over to shading and um, with this one so I'll go control T and then I'm just going to uh, start rotating this around like that you know, I don't know let's say let's say I wanted that so I'll come back to layout, you know, and then I can see my doghouse and, and this stuff. And we can deal with blurring and stuff like that later. Um, but that's the general idea for this sort of cartoony doghouse. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll do some, some grass and some plants. Uh, very easy to do using a particle system. Maybe I'll model a few more things. I'm not sure. Um, and that would be and that would be that. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for now and we'll see you next time.